We begin this episode the way we ended last episode, despising Ryuji. I want to do the palace, but I can't because somebody keeps being interesting. Hey, buddy, how's it going? We're the bittersweet gamers. I'm the opinionator. And I'm Wii Squared. And we're going to go watch porn DVDs now, so oh, let's rock. Yeah. First up is this soccer one. Then we've got a baseball here. Ooh, and a track and field one. Good shit, man. Dude, I, you, you, you gave me sports? Sport? Are you surprised? Sports are, like, really cool and all, but I'm, like, personally not a fan. We, you made me waste our day of going into the palace for sports? <laughs> no. Ah, well, whatever. Okay, yeah, that wasn't really that interesting. And besides, there's a special event with Mishima tomorrow, and that'll be way more useful, and we didn't want to put off two days, so forget this, we're going to the palace. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Well, I don't know why you left the hideout, then. Get the hideout's your room now, remember? Shut up! Get your back mouth out of here! <laughs> Everyone's here. Oh! We're finally going to the palace, huh? I know! It's so crazy how we haven't been going to the palace! I wonder whose fault that is! Yeah, by the way, do you want to hang out tomorrow? <laughs> Let's hang out in the palace! Alright, palace! We've been waiting for this because this is going to be awesome! <laughs> okay, okay. We'd kind of been debating if whether you have to, like, drive here every time. I guess so. Right. I mean, even if we got a safe room, would we be able to warp to the safe room? From outside in the desert? Yeah, wouldn't we have to drive through that desert to get to the palace Probably. every time? Yeah, yeah. Hey, we've changed into our Phantom Thief costumes. That proves she sees us as a threat now. Let's be careful. <laughs> I'm itching for action. Let's do this. Look at Futaba. I can We've already it. seen her shadow. Hmm. I guess that means we have to see her again. Probably. I can feel it. Huh. Really, I just came up here to do this. <laughs> Whee! Hey. Huh. I can see that city we passed by on the way here. Huh. You got it. We probably don't need to concern ourselves with it, though. I can sense a treasure in the pyramid. Uh, I don't know. But... All right. So the new area we can get to mm. has a grate on the door. So maybe it's like a shortcut. Yeah, yeah. So we've we'll got to go craft a crowbar or something. Speaking of which, we did get the Ace tools available from Morgana That's and true. finally, finally looked at them. And there's like an infinite lockpick and other things that look really cool. <laughs> we just we don't have any of the materials, so I guess now we're gonna start finding better materials. I would imagine so, yeah. Since he levels up with the party or with the story. Yeah. With something, I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay, okay. I saw the thing and I thought it was only active during your, uh... Okay, so it's looking like these little bits popping out. Uh, like, what do you call it? You know? Binary? Yeah, okay, no, that's that's but... not where I was going, but that is binary code. Now, that makes sense, and you see it all over the walls here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that makes... Okay, so this is Futaba's tomb, right? Yeah. So, by having binary all over the walls of her tomb... She feels like she's trapped... By like the internet or something, something yeah, like that. Like her interests, whether she really likes them or not, is also feels like that they're trapping her. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. But what I was gonna point out was like the little holographic glowies outside. You know, kind of like what you get, say, in in like the Marvel movies. You know, yeah, seeing like the three D virtual right. digital things that you just swipe around everywhere. Yeah, I know what you're talking. Like those, yeah, yeah. Aha, I see that now the path over the middle is gone. Alright, but here's this then. Still, I still want to notice there's no shadows. Oh, they should be showing up about now. So, it still won't open. We might just have to give up on it. No point sitting around though. What do you want to do, Joker? Well, maybe we can't open it? We couldn't go the other way. Yeah. That well, make, maybe we can now. Maybe. That makes sense, but we don't have any idea how to do that. We'll have to investigate every suspicious place we see, both inside the pyramid and out. Uh, outside? You mean we gotta deal with that heat? 
You don't suppose we have to wander off to that town we saw in the distance? Maybe. It seemed like it was just in the background, do you? No complaining. Let's begin our investigation right away. Oh, really? Are you leaving? Come back here. Let's talk for a moment. Huh. Y yes, ma'am? Welcome back. I had thought I would never see you again. We're only here because we gotta be. I can't believe you tried to drop a boulder on us. You want us, you want us to steal your goddamn treasure or not? So she does view us as a threat, but here she is. Is she going to be taunting us, or...? I don't know. She's probably at ends with herself. Hmm. Why don't we make a deal? You wish to proceed further, yes? A deal, you say? There is a town nearby. I would like you to take back that which the bandit there stole from me. Well, that's interesting and certainly fits the whole thief motif, and it's also not really what we were expecting. Not at all. Oh, yeah, I think I remember seeing a town on the way here. If you bring back what was stolen to me, I'll give you a reward. I'll even tell you how to proceed. Can't you tell us any more details? Anything about this bandit or what was stolen? Maybe his name was Alibaba? You'll learn all the information you need to know once you arrive. It's like, what's the meaning of this? Yeah, we'll need to head outside if we want to go to the town. We can go when you're ready, Joker. Hmm. Well, we'll wait till we get there. Maybe. In so doing, we're building trust with her, and that is what's going to open her heart to us. That is possible, but what kind of palace ruler sends us... I mean, okay, they've established that environs around here clearly are the palace. Like, yes. this has been specifically stated. Yes. So, what she's doing is sending us outside of... Of, of the palace proper, like mm -hmm. her familiar guarded right. environs, into some place sort of on the outside. Right. Now, does that mean... But, but it's like that outside is still part of the palace. Does that mean we're like sort of exploring like the nether forgotten regions of her heart? Something like that? Yeah. And, and perhaps the fact that she doesn't have a grasp... Like she said, what a bandit stole from me? Like what? What the heck is that about? Yeah, because she's... Not, She's the palace ruler. But that's like outside of her palace. And as we've already sort of theorized with the desert, she doesn't know anything about the town. Well, that's not the direction that I was going. Uh, it's like, this is an area... Well, I mean, I guess it is actually. Perhaps the town outside, the area outside that we're going to represents the fact that she's basically forgotten about this part of the world. Yeah. Doesn't really understand it. And so even though this is her palace, her world, even though she control or she currently only controls the innermost part of it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like you look at every other palace so far, like Madarame, like there's lines of people outside his museum. Yeah, Everything yeah. out there is clearly part of the palace, clearly under his control. Um, like Kaneshiro was had the ATM people laying all over right. Shibuya and was vacuuming up all the money. That part was outside of the environs of his palace, but was still in it and under his control. Is Futaba saying that she has ceded control of her own, like, mental territory? That might be why it's kind of bleeding over. Whether that's the reason or not, you might be onto something. Because that bleed over is incredibly unique. Yeah. I mean, for goodness sake, like, a metaverse ghost of her mom yeah. appeared in the real world. Now, one thing about Persona is... It stuff doesn't really manifest in the real world. I mean, sort of a little bit it does, but that's a different story. All right. Hmm. So, how are we supposed to go get to this town? Morgana, drive? Oh, yeah. I'm stupid. She said it's nearby. We could probably see it from here, right? And, in fact, already have looked at it. And even commented on it. Good point. Let us observe the surroundings and search for any towns that may lie about here. I guess on the off chance you didn't go over there and look at the town... Hmm, an outside city. Where could we possibly find an outside city? I just, uh... Oh, there it is. Yeah, maybe on one of the areas that just opened up. Also, it is a weird effect looking at the scenery right now, then looking up at the date and realizing that we're under a torrential rainstorm. <laughs> Cognitive dissonance! <laughs> hey, isn't that a town off in the distance? 
Yes, I can see what appear to be buildings over there. Well, you want to go there? It's pretty far away, so this is my chance to shine. I get to look really good for Lady On, too. Who? Speaking of looking really good, I don't think she's going to get overheated in that outfit, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> this is not what I expected. Right? We've arrived. This has to be the city Futaba's shadow mentioned. It looks quite desolate. She said only bandits reside here, but still... Hey! Up until this point, the shadows have always been like security, like sort of police sort of things. What if they're going to be the bandits? Seems as though that's the case. I... Okay, so this is all we get of this map. It's like we get to move through different locations. I guess this time around, maybe the palace itself is going to be based more on, like, different rotating locations. It, that is not what I would call a bandit. <laughs> no, that's a mummy. Show me your Who true you? form. Hey, just, just be cool. Oh, no! Sandmen! Isn't this kind of low level for us? Uh, we're always higher level. Okay, so you do it like that. Got it. And it does take Gino's action to swap out your teammates. And you can't swap out an afflicted teammate. Okay, that's good. Well, I do remember hearing from one of our wonderful viewers that all they do is use Dormina. Oh, God. Now, on the one hand, that could be bad. But on the other hand, when it's only Vim, isn't that like... Do we just recover that way? I I guess you're right. I realize this isn't what I'm supposed to get from this, but I kind of have like a Wild Westy feel, you know? <laughs> so, with the fact that that apparently... We're not sure if it's shadows or not, uh -huh. but with the idea that it's a shadow that stole something from her mean that she doesn't really have too much control within her own heart... Well, I mean, that is the case that she's... Yeah. Yeah. What... Mm, like, what was stolen by an outsider? Well, we'll we're going to find out. Yeah. So everything is desolate. And, I mean, it, it has, like... I mean, there's, like, a... There really isn't, like, a Middle Eastern feel or, like, a Wild West feel at all. Really looking at the architecture, mm -hmm. it just looks like Japan. Like a Japanese city, right? When you when you stop looking yeah. at, like, the content and just, like, looking at the signs and the yeah, buildings. Yeah, you're right. So, I guess, I guess that's saying, I mean, rather the obvious, but saying that, like... In, in Futaba's heart, the rest of the world is foreign, closed really off to cool. her, and completely empty. Yeah! That's a good way of putting it. Hey, just, just, be, cool. <laughs> hey, hey, just, just be cool, man. Be cool. We haven't even gotten to just despairing everything constantly yet. Oh, God, you're right. <laughs> I, the fart noise! Oh, I am so childishly amused. <laughs> All right, lightning's their weakness. How about elect boost? Yes. Mazionga. Oh, like multi mid, mid, multi mid. Yeah, that works. All right. Now the way this has always worked is we have smashed everything to a pulp, okay. uh -huh. gotten really cocky, and then something has happened that's been extremely embarrassing and has caused us to die because we're playing in hard. Something shows up and we're like, ah, damn, what is this thing? You're freaking new A. What the heck even is a new A? And then it just murders us all in two well, shots. It's like that Mementos target where Focus. where he, he actually one-shotted us from full health to, oh, yeah. to death. Yeah. I can see it. That is what one-shotted means, yes. Don't give me no back mouth. I'm not giving you no back mouth. Jeez. I have to say, the mood of this town is definitely strange. I can't sense anyone around. Hey guys, you looking for something? Heh, <laughs> I thought I heard someone rustling around out here, and here you all are. Um, you are really out of place here. Welcome to the desert, fellow trader. Huh, what does he mean by trader? We don't care about your welcomes. You're a bandit, right? Just cough up the thing you stole. So, it, it's a shadow. That's correct. It has to be a shadow. 
why would he have this type of cognition of... I mean, I guess we touched on it before. It was probably basically correct. But in her cognition, she is imagining shadows which should be under her complete control in her territory as actively hostile to her. Like, you know, she but is... But she's not the one in control, Damon. Well, no, no, no. No, she's the ruler of the palace. You're I right. understand that, that the boss is going to be her mother. Right, but... Why wouldn't the shadows be hostile towards her if the twisted desire is suicide? Oh yeah! I Hello. Even... Yeah, it's like not only not only is is it like the tomb where she awaits isolated to die. Yes. But it's like she actively she actively wants them not to serve her like they did to the other people. Yeah. Where they were serving their masters, but she actively wants them to kill her. Yes. Interesting. Ah, well, ain't this interesting? A group of criminals coming after a fellow traitor. Now, when you say traitor, do you mean traitor? Well, you're gonna have to catch me if you want it. Wait, oh, you just had to scare him off, Skull. Me? Well, of course I'm going to naturally blame you. Uh, what do you think now? We'll have time for talk later. Let's get after him. Now, now, do we have to actually, like, track him down, or is this just a bunch of tag? Yeah, this whole area has nothing in it and a bunch of different hallways. It's very windy, yeah. So that means we get to chase after this guy. That's actually really cool. Again, it is completely different from the prior areas. Yeah. You know, the, the problem with, or a problem with Persona 3 and 4 was the I samey nature of all of them. Yes. Like, all the combat and dungeon, it just all seemed to be the same. And it, it, at first it was real fun, but it lost its appeal pretty fast. Uh -huh. But in this game, at least with the palaces, they're all so different. And interesting. I have something. All right, now, now where are you hiding? Maybe instead of tag, it's actually more like hide and seek. Well, that'd be pretty awesome. Uh, turn around. Maybe over there? No? Okay. Where in the world is this guy? Aha! <laughs> Finally! Hey, I said wait, where? You're too slow, moron. You'll never catch me at this rate. Okay, so do we have to sneak up behind him or something? Like we're fighting a Bloodborne boss? He ran off again! Hurry up and catch him fast! Slow, slow. No? Ha ha ha, you tired already? What a bunch of losers. Grave Robin is a game of stamina, you know. And off he goes. Oh, this is really pissing me off. We'll never catch him if we do nothing but follow his path. We should corner him somewhere. It is from Bloodborne. <laughs> you know, Mikolaj? Yeah, yeah. Having to, like, chase him down? Corner him? But how? Let's use that square from earlier. We can sneak around him and trap him in there. Now, do we have to do it? Or... Is uh, our strategist going to strategize? I guess we have to do it. Good! That's the way I prefer it. Okay, so if we run at him here, he's going to run to the right. Yes. Now, is that where we want him to go? Well, this is the only place he can go. Well, no, if we come at him the other way, he'll oh. run to the left. But from there, he could then take two different paths. Yeah, see, if he so ran way, down to the right, he could only run to the left. Okay, now I don't think this is going to necessarily work. Okay, so now he's right there. Uh-huh. So if we come at him again, he'll start to run towards the exit. But it's like this part, this part we have to catch him going the right way. Yeah. Now he's in the hall, so we can't get him from the front, right? Correct, because he'll just turn around and run back this way. So we're just going to have to react to the direction he goes next. Which and was then that come way. around from the other side. Yeah. And hope he doesn't just loop back around this way. Yes. Because otherwise I can't really think of any way we can catch him. Then we come at him from here. And then he should run the only direction he can run. Excellent! I am enjoying this. And now... Now coming here, there's only one direction he can go. Unless and he then happens we, to run into the... And then we can cut him off the other way unless he yes. runs into the square. Okay. okay. 
So pretty simple, but we still had to think about it. That's true. Right. And then we come out in the other direction. <laughs> I wonder if there'll be more hide and seekage going on. I really like this. This is totally tagged, though. Or tag, yeah. Get your children's games straight. I love hopscotch. Yep. <laughs> there he goes. We finally chased him into the square. Perfect. He has nowhere else to run now. Let's do this, Joker. All right, mini boss. Let's go. Time You're... to one shot us. No, he'll be despaired. Yo, Bandit. What's the matter? Not running anymore? Shh. Don't, Don't even think, think about, about coming one step closer. Hey, buddy. Let's talk. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. You've got to let me go. Why? I mean, you guys came to raid that tomb too, right? Why don't we work together and share the plunder? What do you have to offer us? Don't talk to us like we're the same as you. We came here to save Futaba-chan. What if this isn't a shadow? No, 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 he's got the shadow uh, coloration on his leg. And he's got a mask, and it's the same type of yes, mask the mummies did. were wearing. It is? Okay, okay. I thought that maybe oh. it would have been the man in black in no, disguise. No, I was thinking that possibly too at first, but... It was the mask that did it, and we need to get a good look. We can't do it here, but yeah. we were told that we should really inspect the mask. Of the masked man? No, of the guys running around here. Oh, okay, okay. Now give us back what you stole. So you want to do this no matter what, huh? Well, in that case, I guess I don't have a choice. Well, that looks terrifying. I wonder what that is. Garuda, maybe? That sounds about right. Woo! I was kind of worried for a minute, not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Raging bird god. Muji is weak to wind. Yes, he is. So I... you better change him out as soon as it's Joker's turn. Or just guard with him, because Joker's turn needs to be doing other things. Okay, okay. Let's make sure nothing awful is going to happen. Okay. Despair boost, ominous words. Right. How about this? Okay, you're oh dead. my god! Are you serious? Deadly, why do you think I did that? <laughs> okay, well, I guess it's the week to despair! It doesn't really matter what we do now. I can't believe that freaking word. Well, it's like, what did you expect was gonna happen? Literally, uh, the other mini bosses have been weak to despair. I and, guess so. And Mentos but... targets are weak to status. I guess so, but come on! Bye-bye. Ah. First of many. A hard-earned victory. We won! Oh, he dropped something. Right, the thing we were supposed to get. Is this some kind of papyrus parchment? No! It is not some kind of papyrus parchment! Yeah, those are two separate things! Papyrus is one thing, and parchment is another thing, and they are made from different things. One's made from reeds, and parchment is made from animal skins. Morgana? It looks like there's something written inside. I'm not a tanner or an ancient historian. I'm a cat! Why are you blaming me? Hey, no peeking at a girl's belongings without her permission. You know, just what the hell's happening in her heart? We'd take some time to discuss it right here, except we've been doing a lot of that, so... There's this bandit, these weird voices saying you killed her, and who knows what else? It's a total freaking mess. Yeah, because her heart's a total mess. Unlike everybody else, Futaba isn't in control. Yeah. Futaba's supposed to be the queen of this palace, but even she can't control it? I don't know. I've never seen a case like this. Regardless, we have no more business in this city. Shall we head back, Joker? All right, show us what we've won! The ability to go further into the palace, I suspect. I don't think this is really going to change anything. A new car! What? Huh? You know, the music in the tomb is different than outside. Previous, yeah. Previously, every palace has had one piece of music for the palace itself, and then for the distorted area, do we just get an extra one this time? Or? I think it just helps symbolize even further her own disconnection with the outside. Yeah, like the inside and the outside having their own separate identities okay. communicated We're, like that, too. Yeah. yeah. We're back! This is the thing you said they stole, right? Well done. It is yours now. Wait, what? Didn't you want us to get it back because it's important? This is a map of the tomb. Ah, it's a map! Stolen by the bandit to aid in his ransacking of this place. Oh, 
Why are you letting them just do whatever they want? This is your palace, isn't it? All that matters is that the map is now yours. Just come in further and... Oh. What? That's not good. What in the... That's a door opening is really yep. all it is. Huh? Futabaton dis... Uh... Ah! God damn it! Morgana managing to actually move more than everyone else. <laughs> uh, is this the time for me to be calmly speaking? <laughs> Quicksand, everyone swim with all your might. This is ridiculous looking. <laughs> and pretty awesome. <sighs> hey, you guys still alive? No, Yusuke and Morgana died down there. They'll be oh, missed. I guess I've just seen an hallucination then or something. Ow. First a boulder, then this. Did we piss her off somehow? Traps are just part and parcel of a tomb. I don't think it has anything to do with us angering her. I suspect the problem is that she can't control her instinct to push people away from her. A simple defense mechanism. And an automatic one at that. Considering what she's been through, I don't blame her for mistrusting others. We have to help! We've got to help Futaba-chan open the door to her heart! Uh... Of course? Yes? Why do we need to leave? I have no objections, but we should worry about ourselves first and foremost. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's look for a way back above ground. Otherwise, this place is going to end up our tomb, too. Uh, I guess we are going to have to go back out and do something, like get more personal with Futaba or something. Well, that would make sense, but we have plenty of palace to get through first. That's true. I like how the rooms, like, okay, the rooms in Kaneshino's palace were huge and expansive. But here, they're all real small. Well, yeah, cramped, reflector, yeah, cramped and tiny. It's like Kaneshiro wanted to be big. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, maybe, maybe cramped and small wasn't quite correct. <laughs> so Darn it! This is kind of frustrating. I'm going to have to, like, really run all over the place. Like a reverse Q-Bird or something. Again with the Q-Bird! Hey, man. Why you gotta diss the classics? I, I'm not dissing the classics. I'm, I'm really only dissing Q-Bird, man. Uh, I played a lot of that when I was little. Well, just, I just feel like I'm pressured to go, okay, I go around and down and up this way, and that's what I find. And now then you I have to go, yeah, repeat the process. Somewhere else. It's almost scary how overpowered we are for this part of the game. I felt the difference in strength. Yeah, me too. <laughs> That's pretty interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Electricity important. Get that, get that bubble out of the way. Okay, so the people outside may be hostile, but the people inside. Okay. We, we got enough shots that we can actually, like, screenshot it and take a look at it later. Yeah, yeah. So we'll be able to see the map. It's really hard to check it out here, though. Right? Especially with those freaking voice bubbles in the way. Aluminum sheet. 20 aluminum sheets. Oh, and God. 10 of another item, and that's what we use to turn into that infinite lockpick. Oh, God. You know, the aesthetic of, like, computer code, science fiction, and... Sarcophagi? And, yeah, and, like, sarcophagi and pyramids is really interesting. Peekaboo! I see you! Show me your you know, maybe it's not really a bird. Take this. Goodness, you are just the crittingest person today. Yeah, I'm using Neko Shogun, who gets a boost to critical on on the ambush turn with one of his abilities. Oh. Okay, then. Have we been attacked by an enemy yet? Other I don't know, than that I just kind of feel like we've been, uh, 
walking through this dungeon or this palace the entire time without any real opposition. Okay. Pretty much. You said something about a mini boss, but I don't remember that. Yeah, well, Joker got hit with, uh, like, Gardine. Took, like, 95 damage. That was it. Mm -hmm. And then you despaired him. So, no, I don't recall. Okay, I'm still on Neko Shogun. And that's the problem is I gotta keep checking after every battle to make sure I'm st I still got the right thing equipped. Right. Okay. So we followed the link that was given to us in the comments and actually saw what Medjed looked like. And can I just say, he looks really freaking derpy. Oh, extremely derpy. It's like, this dude looks like he's wearing a Halloween costume or something. Just a pair of legs for popping out from underneath a cone or something. Oh, you know, art has uh, evolved over the centuries and indeed millennia. I just like that this derpy looking guy is the smiter. Ah! Did someone call for a smiter? Well, that's not me, so. Yeah, we're pretty much just smashing everything here. And we'll probably continue to smash everything here. We just thought we should take a moment to talk about the great and mighty Medjet. <laughs> just looks like a sad Halloween ghost. Like some kind of comics character from like the funny papers. Well, you gotta understand. I mean, the higher. Oh wow, look, some of them lived. Not for long. Well, you gotta understand. It's like we're talking about thousand-year-old drawings, essentially. Oh, I know, but it's like you look at some classical hieroglyphic drawings, and at least, like, at least, like the people are what's like in profile and have more details than just like a code over a guy. Well, it doesn't. The, the details doesn't matter. It, it's like how you actually uh, interpret them. For one, they weren't necessarily used as okay. just art. They were actually used, you know, as a writing system. That's but, true. That's but true. like also, I mean, I I, I jokingly said thousand year old drawings. But, I mean, it's actually several thousand year, years old. Right, like Four right. thousand year old letters. I don't know. I, I just can't... Look, it's really stupid looking. <laughs> but I, I, I don't want to, like, like uh, try and undersell sort of the meaning of, right. of what, it, what it is. Like Yusuke said, it's significant in that... He faces forward and not to the side. Yeah. I mean, you know, perspective was something that was like a brand new idea only a thousand years ago. Right. Whereas like, we, we think of it as like obvious now. Uh -huh. you, you know, you, look, you, you take somebody from like 2,000 years ago and have them look at this game, say, and they'd be like, my God, this is another reality. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. I'm still gonna make fun of him though. Man, dude looks like a derpy Halloween ghost. <laughs> What's behind door number, uh, wait a minute, what are we up to, two, three? Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, so so much for that whole cramp thing. <laughs> I like how you started with Kaneshiro saying, Oh, we got two items out of that one. Yeah. Hey, ain't that light the exit? I'm kind of surprised how close it ended up being. Uh, thank God we can finally get out of here. This was all around a horrible experience. Though, can I take a moment to appreciate this music? It's like laid back and melancholy. Mm -hmm. This, I, I think this is my favorite music so far, but so, uh, so far each of the palace themes has kind of gotten better, at least in yeah. my own estimation. Anyway, what were you saying? Are you, we were all like, Kaneshiro's bank is kind of small, and then we get to the vault and it's just like... Bwah. That doesn't make any sense, this should be a kitty. Be because Egypt. Show me your that really boy. should be a kitty, huh? <laughs> oh, it's a jackal. Oh, that makes perfect sense then, never mind. No, it's a baboon. Chanting baboon. Oh, well, Osiris. It's, it's one of the Egyptian gods. Yeah. Uh, either way, we don't yet. We're only one level away with Yoshida getting the ability to to, to get high, to form contracts with higher personas. Okay, so that means that this is probably the new way of this dungeon. Right. So, so we in have other to be words, very careful. Very, very careful. Thankfully, no one's weak to Freyla. And he's got Megiddo. That's awful. Yeah, that's the first time you saw Megiddo get no in yeah. Persona 4, if I recall correctly. He looks it's so funny, like his rolling back on his butt thing. I think he was weak to Dark in 4? That would make sense. What I'm going to do, though, is uh, see what happens. Okay, I'm going to do this. Because that way, if all my messing around fails, yeah. then he's not going to one-shot me. 
he might just two-shot you. And anyway, why should I worry about it? Oh, of course. It's time to just despair him, like, oh? See? Well, you missed, though. Does that mean that he's not weak I don't to know, it, but I'm sure glad I used Tarunda. So am I. Okay, he doesn't use Dark. So I could use Principality. Right. Just to get healing going. I mean, I probably, possibly could have despaired him to death right there. But it would be about time that we run into somebody we can't just, like, slaughter with status. Yeah. And we don't have to worry about SP. That's true. So I'm just going to keep going defensively and poke at him. That makes perfect sense. Can I also say that I appreciate that Jiro's using an Egyptian weapon? Yeah, I want to I wanna take a look at that the next time it really pops up. Such a pain. See, look at that thing. Is that really Egyptian, though? Isn't I that isn't that kind of like a Kopesh? Well, it, it is a Kopesh, which is what they call it, which might be a Kopesh. Yeah, I guess you might be right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a Kopesh, yeah. Okay, so if you know something and it reflects it... You're fine. Go down. At least that's how it was in 4. Okay, at least it's not weak to it. Take this one? Yes, you shall! By all means. Let's go. I don't think we've seen his yet. Yes! That was awesome. It just instantly killed him. You're right! Ha 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 ha! We didn't fail! Yay! We're making progress! I don't trust it. I don't yeah. trust it, Damon. Yeah, after that Osiris or whatever it is, now I'm starting to get afraid. Oh, hello. Hi. Not you! <laughs> oh, God! Man, I fall for that every time, don't I? <laughs> that, that is... That is one terrifying dude. I, I think he's another, uh... Man, there must be really good treasure behind him or something. Gotta face him head on. Hey. Hold on, there's something ahead. Hmm. Look how tranquil it is. It appears to be different from the shadows we've encountered prior. It's probably not a good idea to go up against such an opponent without a clear escape route. We should retreat for now, Joker. Wh what? I don't, even... I don't understand. Ah, I see, I see. So we, we have to come back this way, but we're not supposed to go that... Like, that's to block off that part ah, of the palace. I see. Until we're, you know, supposed to be able to go that way. Okay, I see. I do, I do kind of like how it's sort of maze-like, which makes sense, considering it's a tomb, a pyramid. Right, right. But, but also, that's a lot of guys. <laughs> I don't really care, but it's still a lot of guys. It is. Um... But also, we have to, like, go here and there and return to other places. Right, right. And we're interacting with the ruler of the shadow in a non-hostile way. So, again, it's completely different from what we've encountered so far. He's defeated. Good one, Joker. That is funny every time. Ah, the old whoopee cushion distraction works every time. <laughs> It's kind of awesome just running around using all types of our highest level skills without any concern for SP. Yeah. Slaughtering everything we face. I can see it. I mean, it's not like I haven't expressed that before, Focus. but it does feel like, you know, we've actually made progress. Mm hmm Like we're actually pretty far in the game. Well, like we, we've uh, utilized the chances we've made. Yeah, yeah. It's somewhere. Man, this is... I have a hard time getting really excited here because this is actually just like relaxing. Like with the threat the enemies don't pose and with like uh, the music. Exactly that, yeah. <sighs> we made it out! Damn, it's hot though. My ass is all sweaty because y'all wanted to hear about the state of my ass. Not bad. <laughs> At <laughs> least we. <laughs> At least we have secured our escape route. We can finally go about exploring this place now. What, what were we just doing? Exploring this place. Let's use this as our entrance from here forward. It should be more stable than the front. Yeah. And now that we've come out and secured an escape route, we wander back in and beat up that big tough shadow. Now, like, look at Futaba's stance there. Like, her arms are kind of crossed. Right and she's in front kind of, of defensive, but she's also got her finger to her chin. Like Which is kind of a curious thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, she's keeping a curious distance as she observes us. And, oh, that is a really, that's really good. Because of the angle of where she's looking, everyone else was just kind of like, 
like, like leaned back, looking up, gloating in their yeah, own with sort this of power. <laughs> but here, it's not like that. It's like we are working with, we're talking to her shadow. We're sort of working with her shadow. Yeah, yeah. Well, but, we're here because she wants us to be. But it's 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 different. It's like this isn't hostile. Furthermore, we've run into her shadow how many times? And it hasn't shown up there yet. And it's still not hostile. So it's like, what does that mean? It produces an interesting effect. Yeah. These little bits where sand is falling through from the uh -huh. from like a, a small hole in the roof is kind of interesting. Yeah. I, I don't think there's any sort of deep meaning you can get from it. <laughs> I, I mean, you could, you could say something about, like, the outside world sort of leaking in or whatever, but, right. I mean, really, it's just a cool sort of thing to do in the dungeon. Right! Let's go! All right. Well, we got our way out. Now we can kick that thing's ass. Foolish grave robbers, you have in range of the guardian of this place. Hence, there shall be no path forward for you. It is time you perish! <laughs> Mr. Hidota? <laughs> We're fighting a sarcophagus. Excuse me? It's come fragrance about to pop out of there? Jeez! Hey, a mouse. What <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at her portrait! There's mice all over it! <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what do you do about that? Met, I think, is what this is. As far, if I recall, there is a, a coffin in, like, Persona 4 that had, like, a hand sticking out like that did. What do I do about the, uh, mousy? Well, I've got an item I know that can clear it. Oh, but, but is that considered special? Right. Like, a special status? Okay, good. Can I say I, I'm glad about that? <laughs> okay. All right, let's just keep ourselves from dying. Right? I kind of feel like ice might be working. Yeah, I'm give it a shot. Damn! Wow. I... On is rattled. Hmm, I don't really care for that. As expected, she does have ominous words. And rising slash, that's actually really bad. I mean, at least at least at least she can't get a baton pass on her. There's a reason that I still use Lamia, even yeah. though it's like kind of low level compared to the other stuff. I would imagine it'd be weak to bless. I'd be genuinely surprised I, if I, it wasn't. I kind of don't think that we're gonna be so lucky about this. Well, don't listen to me. Don't worry, I'm kind of not. Okay. <laughs> That's adorable! I love it! I wonder if we can get that costume for her. <laughs> I, I need to come up with some time to do something about that, but right now is not that time. Right? Uh, now, what's the best... Oh, just ta Baton Pass Rising Slash? Exactly. Anything that... And of course, I'm, I'm doing it with, with Lamia again. <laughs> hmm, maybe he can only mouse one of us at once. Well, should we do the uh, element dance and see what he's weak to? Basically that, yeah. Alright, I'm betting on your track record. So of course that means it's going to fail. Yeah, pretty much. That's alright, though. Oh. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Okay, basically all I'm going to do is try and confuse him next time. Ah, the old standby. I mean, I doubt that he's got a weakness. Uh, it's like if despair isn't going to work, which is just fine. <laughs> uh-huh. Then we'll just try uh, other methods. Yay! Well, it just lasted three turns. No, it didn't even last three turns, did it? No, I guess it did. Eh, who cares? That's just another Lamia. The other guys could take care of it. Right? I mean, if all he's going to do is just summon things, then I guess we don't have to worry too much about people being turned into mice. Okay, so oh. I probably can't status him then. That's good, that's good, because we've definitely been, you know, rather annihilating people by status <laughs> spam. Yeah. No, screw you, coffin man. Eh, just not worried about anything. 
This is maybe a little excessive, but you know. <laughs> That's what these fights are for us, excessive. Either on our end or their end. <laughs> Lamia is weak to Lamia. Can you reduce his defense? Yeah, yeah, eventually I will. At the moment, I'm still just moving through stuff. Yeah, yeah. It would have to be Joker, who of course provides the main offense. Especially right now. That's true. That's true. Ah, ancient Egyptian clown shoes. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> I mean, I'll get him one way or another like this, right? I like how even Yusuke Mouse has this, like, suave and determined stance. <laughs> These mice are great. <laughs> oh, that's the problem. Fuck! Well, oh! Because he was a mouse, so yeah. he was gonna be he was going to be toasted pretty much regardless. Ouch. All right. Okay, okay. <laughs> Better get to this then. Right? You can't blame me for trying that. I'll clown shoot Man, you. that's that's awful. He had his attack was enough that even lowered he was oh. able to do that. Yeah. All right. Pretty hefty hefty damage. Oh no. Playing the long game. Well, if that's what needs to be done. I lend it. Man, even heavy. Yeah, that was really bad. Yeah, he uh, doesn't seem like he's messing around now. I appreciate it. All right, so here's how this is going to work, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm going to have to debuff his attack and pretty much debuff his defense and then just rush him with damaging stuff. Yeah, that seems like the best plan. N nice to see nice to see a boss, like a mid-boss, that's actually not just falling over dead to the usual status stuff. <laughs> you fool, I'll beat you with money too. <laughs> Adorable. Really, I just want to keep fighting him so that... So that he can turn everyone into a mouse and see what they look like? Something like that, well, yeah. Well, if he turns Jiro into a mouse, that's horrible. Just, I just want to hear what all the squeaking is. <laughs> no, you're right. That's pretty terrible. She still has glowy red eyes under her mask. These are great. These guys are really high endurance. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a coffin! It only makes sense. Now, you know as well as I do that sense doesn't necessarily make sense in the world of Persona. Here he comes! Ugh, knock it off! He's injured! Yeah. This is my other self. Prepare yourself. Dang it! <laughs> Man, I took a big risk for that! Persona. Okay, now please hit! God dang! What is that? Oh no. Yeah, so now basically everybody's gonna go down. Okay, this is getting irritating. Dang. I don't really. I, I think offense is not really the right call. I probably should have used Masuku Kaja. That's going to make the bigger impact in yeah. basically everything. So I'm going to basically just focus on living through everything, withstanding what he does and poking at him instead of just reaching out and being okay. like, yeah, this is going to hurt him, because that's not going to work. Prepare yourself. Don't suppose you want to summon again or something. That would be really convenient. This has been the weirdest boss fight. <laughs> this is this is a very, very odd deal, yes. I'm kind of afraid that this is going to do really bad damage. Yeah? Well, or it might, like, reflect back or something. It won't do any damage, but... 
Okay, well he. Yes, please. Take care of this, on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. On coming in for the win. Man, I had to work on that one. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Persona Five. Yes. I'm sure that all we'll find out is, oh, he was weak to win the whole time or whatever. But that's one of the things about these games is you can't, you don't always have like the wherewithal or the opening to try and find out if they've got right, right. If they've got something like that, you, the element dance isn't always. Yeah. Like in 4, there's certain fights that you start and it's like, these guys will kill me if I give them a chance to do something. I have to just hit them as hard as I possibly can. Yeah, like do the safest thing. Yeah. Alright, we managed to scrape through that somehow, Squeak. Let's, let's keep it up and head for the treasure. I know what we can do. Let's go fight some Sandmen and recover everything. That would be really convenient. We should make sure we don't get reckless, though. It's better to proceed one step at a time. Yeah, I'm totally gonna take ten steps, go outside, and save after that, thanks. Right? Hey, speaking of a fight with Sandmen to recover... Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, the person who doesn't need to be asleep. There we go, thanks. Nothing we do goes to plan, David. You know, all I've been trying to do is get some who the hell am I fighting action going uh, uh -huh. while confusing him and waiting, you know, the waiting. SP adhesive to build up. Right. But is it... I'm getting really sick of just eating Megiddo over and over <laughs> and over again. All right, after getting turned into a mouse over and over by a sarcophagus and then attempting to recover from this ordeal by fighting a monkey that wouldn't stop howling at us, I think we finally recovered a little bit, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to this. 